why would I do this to myself the day before my son's birthday? I just like adding extra pressure to crucial life situations. like a documentary. Right. Yes, that's right. Want this one? Yeah, you go. Welcome back, baking yeah. enthusiasts. And that is what I'm calling myself today because uh, I would describe this cake tutorial definitely as a journey, not just a process. So I'm going to be filming this semi-vlog style. You're going to be joining me for the highs and the inevitable crushing glows because I've never attempted this style of cake before. So me and my game face are going to be tackling this cartoon ice cream cake. So it's not a fondant cake, it's a buttercream cake which I prefer to work with and you obviously do a black outline to make it look quite cartoonish and you just add a regular cone on top. So this original design is by an Instagram baker called Tigger Mac and she is just wonderful. I absolutely love her profile and she posts really really fun little cake tutorials and what she's doing. She, she's worked with Disney. She's just absolutely phenomenal. So full credit to Tigger Mac for this inspo. Oh, I didn't intentionally come to the table with this smoky under eye but it has been so long since I've applied makeup I, uh, I forgot where the mascara went. Now to preface this with a bit about me I am not a complete novice. I used to be a baker I didn't quite finish my apprenticeship though because I had the babies. I do like to bake every now and again especially for a special occasion such as my son's birthday of which this cake is for. I'm doing this all very last minute because we've just had a harrowing two weeks of sick children who are now on the mend. They've had their first day back at school, but honestly, let's hope I actually even finish this vlog. I have a cake to make. I've got two buttercreams to do, a sweetened condensed vanilla icing for the middle and just a regular white frosting for the outside. I've got to make dinner and I'm also currently engaging in childcare for my youngest. And I'm starting to question whether perhaps I may have taken on a little too much. Also questioning my sanity. Whoa! And so is my camera. So for those of you who are interested in picking up any little baking tips, uh, do watch on. Once again, I do come with a bit of baking experience and I'm not a complete novice. Uh, however, it is my first attempt, but I feel that these kind of baking tutorials make for the most realistic and interesting home bake experience. So do watch on. Pay attention to the captions. There's going to be a lot of imagery montage and I'll just put little footnotes at the bottom if you're interested as to the ingredients, the amount and method. Method. Tip number one, and this is just a given, but for those of you who perhaps it may not come naturally, please pre-line your tins, even do it the night before if you have to. It's just so annoying and it's one of those jobs where you don't want to save it just before you want to start cooking. Number two, preheat that oven, get that nice and ready so you can whip up your ingredients and just put it in seamlessly without waiting for your oven to heat up. Third, weigh out your ingredients. Again, it just makes it so much quicker to just throw them in the bowl as you're making this cake, which is a very easy one, by the way. And I didn't mention what cake I'm making. It's a rainbow cake. It's actually called Easy Rainbow Cake from scratch. I've made this recipe twice before. It's always worked really well. Main ingredients are plain flour. I like to use cake flour, which has lower protein. It gives more of a nice, soft chiffon texture. Butter, food coloring, buttermilk, sugar and eggs. So quite household staples. Baking powder, salt, whipping cream and because I just didn't acknowledge the fact that this cake would need cream in it, which is quite odd for a cake really, I think I'm going to sub coconut cream because that's what I have on hand. So we'll see how that, what that result yields for us.
fun part. I did make a slight error there. I'm not sure if you noticed. I started putting my batter into the tin, which is the right thing to do. I weighed it out evenly at 429 grams approximately. However, I didn't add color to the different parts of the rainbow cake. So I've put the remaining batter. We are going to have one plain layer because we're short on time, but we will color the rest in some nice rainbow colors. Now, Tigger Mac, I think she used a purple. She had like a violet. So I'm going to be using purple. Purple, that's right. I'm going to use violet by Chef Master. These are all gel food colors, the best colors you want to be using for cakes, gum paste, fondant, any kind of thing like that. Because yeah. um, they don't contain as much water. Also, um, dust pigments are good as well. She used a blue. I've got some blue here, some sky blue, and. I think I'll leave the yellow layer as the plain and I'll do a pink. Got some fuchsia and perhaps I'll mix that with a bit of Baker's Rose. And if you're wondering what this monstrosity is, yes, it's a toolbox. Got this from the local hardware store being uh, Bunnings where you can basically live your life out of that store. I like to keep my nozzles organized so I know what's for what. These are some Korean buttercream nozzles. I've got food colors here, some like large cupcakes piping nozzles, the more traditional ones over there. Then I've got some bits and pieces here and some recipe books and squeezy bottles under there. Whoa. Most pastry chefs have uh, one of these in their arsenal and they usually leave it under lock and key because it's quite expensive stuff in here. record show that I'm setting the timer for 20 minutes but I may check them at 15. You may have casualties in this process including the guests that may be eating this cake but we all know it will not. It will not be this sweater so I'm going to go take care of that. Little trick if you have a stain quickly soak it and get a bit of uh, like a bar of soap like those waxy fatty soaps and it lifts the stain from the fabric. Tried and true clothing tip. See, I told you I'm not just good for one thing. Don't say I never taught you anything. Okay, cake is in the oven. I'm hoping someone may come home to relieve me so I can dip out for a few more ingredients because I'm lacking some licorice straps that I wanted to use for the outline, the cartoon outline of the cake. I thought that might save a little bit of time. And I also need butter because hence the buttercream, of course, I don't know why I didn't consider this earlier. Sleep deprivation actually makes me consider what my life might have been like earlier before children and when I wasn't so sleep deprived. Wow, this is a nice find. And this is also very different. This speaks to me. This is also an unusual size, but kind of practical for your little bit. These are also very cute. Love contrast leather handles. Hmm. My gosh, wooden coffee to go set. This is too cute. What if kids would actually do this? I mean, well, perhaps if they want to aspire to be a barista. I mean, good time to practice. Mummy likes coffee. Oh my gosh, a wooden finger kit. Here we go. Okay, back with the goods and I couldn't help myself but to pop on my new Kmart slippers that I found incidentally whilst I was shopping for my son's birthday present. 
which also happens to be a patisserie play-doh toy i mean can you believe this where was this sort of thing when we were children more on that toy later I'll, i i must give you a demo but <laughs> couldn't help but rip off the tag and start wearing these little ug like furry slides they are so comfortable and look at the gold buckle detail i love love kmart slippers i have a pair previously here four years been through the wash probably 400 times yes it is just starting to develop a hole which is not very hygienic for me to be showing you slippers in the kitchen but we'll just ignore that i'm not just here for baking advice i do a bit of fashion as well also another preface this vlog will transcend over a few days because my son's birthday is actually tomorrow and then we might have the cake the day after so we will get there and hence we might be jumping backwards and forwards in time as you can see we are into the evening now licorice laces in hand for anyone who's wondering what they're called and ready to uh to decorate why some of you may be asking why would i do this to myself the day before my son's birthday i just like adding extra pressure to crucial life situations it appears that's about
good wings in them.
life moment for me. We have a cake. It's not exactly perfect, but we have a cake. So if any of you are interested in any of the equipment that I used or have any questions about the recipe or the method, please do leave your questions in the comment box. I've left a few notes in the description as well, so you can click on that. Also, please subscribe. That would be super helpful to encourage me to continue making videos for this channel. And I shall see you very, very shortly in my regular content. Ciao for now.